Thank you for the privilege of loving me. We ask that you breathe upon this service this afternoon and let your name be glorified in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a prayer as you take your seat. By way of charge, just to provoke our hearts unto praise and worship, Isaiah chapter 61, verse 3. Isaiah chapter 61. And in verse 3, he said to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. A garment of praise. The charge is titled A Garment of Praise. Praise and by extension, worship is a garment. Praise and worship puts on the worshiper, a spiritual garment. Every time we worship God and we praise God, we are not only singing, we are wearing something. A garment. What is the assignment of this garment? First of all, the garment gives identity. You know that a person is a mad person because of what, how he's dressed. You know that a person is maybe a mechanic, roadside mechanic, by how he is dressed. You know that a person is a, um, a medical doctor, a judge, by how they are dressed. So your worship can put upon your life the right identity. Who you are meant to be. The real you. That is garment. Secondly, garment gives beauty. You see a person looking very attractive and appealing. Not necessarily seductive, but attractive and appealing by, the, by what they are wearing. The garment of praise will destroy from your life the spell of ugliness. Everything the enemy puts on your life that doesn't make you look appealing can be destroyed and removed when you wear the garment of praise and worship. Thirdly, the garment confers dignity, respect happens when you see a person respectfully dressed as against a person who is casual or anyhow. That is, your garment of praise will swallow up the smell of shame. The garment of worship can destroy every clothing of reproach. Because garment brings dignity. If you worship God well, you are not permitted to be swallowed in reproach. You are not permitted to be swallowed in shame. Fourthly, garment confers opportunity. Garment confers opportunity. There are people that you have to, when they greet you, you look at them twice because of how composed they are. looks like a very, very 
distinguished gentleman from somewhere. And the door opens. A military general comes in his general uniform with red gadgets and with his shoulders filled with all manner of stars. And he doesn't need to be kept standing in any government office because of what he's wearing. That was why the Bible said they were praising God and having favor. It's the same opportunity. Acts chapter 2 verse 47. So when the garment is of praise and the garment of worship is upon you, it gives you opportunities you will never have otherwise. Doors open that couldn't have opened. Favor happens that couldn't have happened. The garment confers opportunity. Fifthly, the garment imparts authority. Again, look at the military garments, the paramilitary garments. There is a level of authority it placed upon them. Whenever you are wearing praise and wearing worship, no devil can undermine your authority. That was what Saul, David carried and ejected demons out of Saul. In 1 Samuel chapter 16 and in verse 23, he ejected demons out of Saul. Garments bring authority. Number six, garment reflects prosperity. When Adam sinned, the Bible said they were naked. Because sin was the immediate, the immediate manifestation of sin was poverty, nakedness, nakedness. Being clothed is sign that there is some means. Am I communicating? When you see a, see poor people, the identity is wretchedness. When you see people that are not poor, they are clothed. When you see people that are very rich, it can be reflected on how they dress. A man came to my office some time ago wearing a watch that was bought for one million dollars. One watch. That's 360 million naira. One watch. He was a rich man. When you wear worship, you wear praise. It would destroy on your body wretchedness. So, I welcome you. And finally, garment confers royalty. You know kings by what they wear. You know princes by what they wear. Royalty is conferred by the garment on your body. I welcome everyone here today to put on the garment of praise. Put on the garment of worship. And whatever is not of God in your life will disappear. Stand up on your feet and lift your hands and just worship him. When the worship goes a little bit, Feel free to take any position, to kneel down, to lie down, to sit on the floor, whatever is most comfortable for you, but ensure that deep worship is coming from your heart. Lift your hands and let's praise him. Let's worship him. Say, Father, I thank you today because I am in your presence to put on the garment of worship and praise. Lift your voice and appreciate him.